All right, greetings everyone. My name is Chuck Tunyus and I'll be doing a book review. I'm just back from vacationing off the island of Sanibel and this is what I did on my vacation. I read the book Lean In uh, by Sheryl Sandberg. It's called Lean In, Women, Work, and the Will to Lead, a 2013 book. So first of all, you might ask why am I reading this book about women and the workforce? Well, uh, my daughters, they're entering the workforce, and my wife has also worked in the corporate environment. And, well, I'm in the book club, so uh, I read the book, and uh, I'm glad I did now. Um, the book, it's an examination of the current workplace and women's role within it. Uh, to me, self-help book. It taught believing in ourselves and having confidence to pursue opportunities within the workforce, uh, to maximize your career, to getting your voice heard, and then also to choose a supportive partner and how to juggle the demands of family and the work environment the same. There were some chapters that I enjoyed a lot more than others. Uh, for instance, I liked to uh, sit at the table, success and likability, and then making your partner a real partner. I got a lot of good information out of all of those, and I, and I believed in a lot of the um, things that Sandberg uh, talked about in her book, and great advice. Uh, sit at the table, what it means is uh, not to downplay any of your achievements. Uh, if someone would uh, compliment you on a certain project, you know, take ownership that you were uh, involved in that project. And, you know, don't downplay any of your role that you've, uh, you've accomplished to, um, to make that a successful project. Um, myself, I think Sandberg, uh, a very impressive role that she's played in the workforce. You know, she's a Harvard graduate. She worked at Google for some time uh, as a leader. Uh, 2008, she took a job with Facebook worked under Mark Zuckerberg. Um, and then she was also on the board of directors at Walt Disney. So those are, are really impressive uh, roles that she played over her career. Myself, I don't think a majority of the people in the workforce uh, would set goals or aspire to, the, to that level of achievement. Uh, some people could be just satisfied with being a manager or a senior position in a company. Um, she talks about selecting a good partner, um, you know, all good advice. I think a lot of people wouldn't um, be in that position where they're looking for a partner or where they're really starting a family. So I don't necessarily know if they would really get a whole lot of information out of the book. Um, some of the in-depth research that she does and statistics that she laid out in the book, I thought was uh, interesting and it was really good. Myself, I thought the book could have easily been called How to Manage a Career and a Family Life at the same time, because a lot of the book was about that. Uh, I do totally agree with all the advice and the direction that she gives as far as, uh, you know, her role is uh, trying to make your partner uh, do 50% of the work uh, so your career can be successful as well as your family life can be successful. Overall, I'd say it was a good read. Not a great read, but I got a lot out of the book, and I'm glad I read it. After a couple chapters, I really started enjoying the book. Um, but yeah, pick it up at Amazon. Uh, it's a good read. But thanks for watching, everyone. Lean in. Catch you in the next review. Thanks.